What's going on guys, Zorzi here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today, we have the player moment Sane that just came out. 650k for this card. A ridiculous amount of, uh, obviously, coins, but let's hope he's worth it. 91 rated, 99 pace, 92 dribbling, 89 shooting, 87 passing, and 79 physical. Look at those stats. Sane has been boosted to the max. The only thing I can see there is probably his physical. Other than that, he should be amazing. Now, he is six foot. I'm not going to discriminate against six foot players because obviously of the likes of Lewandowski, he is six foot as well, but I love him. So six foot, yeah, it's all right. High medium work rate, perfect work rates for an attacker. Three star weak foot though is the only worry I have with this card right now. His right foot is going to be hard to shoot with, so I might have to kind of force it on the left foot. Obviously, I'll try out the right foot, but... For my, you know, for my expectations of like using three stars, uh, three star weak footers, they're not the greatest. Now the four star skill moves is very nice because he can do the standing scoop turn, he can do the burrow spin, and it should be very, very nice. I am using a marksman on him. He is obviously on 10 chem, 96 acceleration, 99 sprint speed. A very, very uh, pacey player. We all know Sony in real life. He is fast as hell. And now, finally, he has got 99 sprint speed in game. Now, he has 97 attacking positioning, 98 finishing, 99 shot power, 95 long shots, 99 volleys, and 82 penalties. No, sorry, 83 penalties. He hasn't got the finish shot trait. He hasn't got the outside foot shot trait. But for a guy that has that good of finishing stats... I'm expecting shots to be flying in left, right, and center, no matter what trait he has. Now, he has 90 vision, 88 short passing, 70 long passing, 91 curve. Looking at a passing, I'm kind of disappointed in the long passing, obviously, because I like my attackers to be able to pass a little bit. But the short passing, the one-two plays, the link-up plays, the triangle plays should be all there. Now he has 97 agility, 85 balance, 91 reaction, 95 ball control, 99 dribbling and 85 composure. Agility should be very, very nice on the ball, should be turning very, very quick. Balance is high enough to him not to do the falling over animation, especially him being six foot. I was kind of worried about that, but the stat tells me different. Reaction should be nice because he should, if he loses the ball to a centre back, he should be reacting faster than the centre back to get that ball back. Now the 95 ball control is also going to be nice simply because he shouldn't be taking any bad touches in any situation. Now he has 82 jumping, 83, he uh, 83 heading accuracy. Sorry about that. Him being six foot, he should actually be winning headers over like six foot two players. So that's a huge thing to have with Sane. He has 88 stamina. Very nice. With a guy that's high, medium, especially with that amount of pace, you need that stamina. And finally, uh, Sane has got it. 84 strength, though, and 73 aggression. Now, that strength is nice because you won't be getting bodied off the ball like I know a lot of people do. But the aggression, not the greatest. But at the same time, I, I kind of feel like you don't need that much of aggression simply because he has that much pace. So he's kind of he's kind of want to get that ball anyway. Now... I have linked him, up, linked him up today with Mendy and Cruyff. He is obviously on 10 chem. I've also got the likes of Gabriel, Jorginho, Sissoko and Messi in the team. I will be using Sane in a 4-4-2. Him up front, obviously the right striker. But then, I'll be trying him in a 4-2-3-1. I want to see if he can play that lone striker role. But I also want to see if he can play down the wing. And looking at that 99 pace, hopefully he can. But let's get straight into the games. Oh, you see that touch? A powerful touch going into Sane. And he just literally took it like it was no tomorrow. Look at the pace, though. Pass it to Cruyff. Can we get a back hill? Gonna flick it over. Sane, oh. Coming from an offside position. That's very unfortunate. But he was making all the right movements there that I like to see. The man of speed, the finesse shot. Did you see the shot power? My God, I thought that was flying into the back of the net. That is a, he is very lucky not to concede there. Great turn, that's on Van Dijk as well. Give him the ball back with the finesse. Can he score this one though? Right, what's happening here, boys? 
Guy's hitting post side. There's no tomorrow. He's missing any chances. Okay, let's relax a little bit. Beautiful run. Beautiful turn. Ah, oh, come on, man. We need to start getting these finishes in. That is a poor shot. Very agile, as you can clearly see. Absolutely skipping past. Absolutely skipping past Virgil van Dijk. This guy can't handle Sane right now. It's unbelievable. Now, he has missed, missed a few chances, but that power shot. That's showing a lot that simply his power shots look much overpowered than his finish shots. Nice little spacing from Sane there. Fighting for the ball. And this is what I mean about his aggression. It basically, basically, because it's low, it doesn't really matter that much simply because his pace kind of covers for it. That's a run though. Beautiful. Beautiful. Passing plays between him and Croy. Something that I do love is a player that can obviously do these uh, kind of back heels in a way. Which a lot of players kind of screw up that pass. But he gave the perfect amount of pace on the ball. That it kind of allowed Croy to have a wide open shot. Beautiful run from Sane. Beautiful drag back. Oh, just couldn't get the shot. But do you see how fast he's turning? That agility coming into play. His drag backs and ball rolls are beautiful, man. Fake shot around the corner. Use that acceleration. Use it. Ah. Oh. See, that's when his weak foot obviously comes into play. It wasn't the greatest shot from his weak foot. Yes, he's under pressure. Yes, he's getting the shirt tugged. And I must say, that pace is incredible from him. Sana's going to take a touch. We're going to full pelt it. Ooh. I was expecting that little crossbar down near post. We're going to see this once again. A very, very nice shot. Challenge the keeper. Loris. Great save. Beautiful place. Beautiful passing place. He took so long so long to shoot and that's because i felt like he wanted to get it on his left foot when he could have just shot with his right foot and then obviously he hits post on the open go after that's beautiful spacing from him quick turn with the freestyle weak foot and that's what i mean about players having freestyle weak foot they're gonna let you down a lot oh my god Oh my god, give it back to him. No. Just a little skill run to just show how agile he is, how nice he is on the ball. It's beautiful to see a player that does that. Sane down the wing in his natural position. Getting outpaced by Suzoko. Now, this is one of the biggest things that I've noticed. He does not feel like he has 99 pace. And that right there is a big disappointment. Oh, that's very nice pace. Quality dribbling. Can I get a finish as well? Very, very nice from Sane there. Did you see the amount of pace? It was incredible. Now, I don't know if just it's just because it was kickoff that he used that pace. But we are going to see because kickoff is about to be one more time and then it's gone. So, I'll see how fast he is. Beautiful pass. Leroy Sane with his left foot. It's a beautiful finish. Now, in the last game, I was struggling. I couldn't find him, like, perfect. He was just, I don't know, in a way, taking the bad, uh, like, the worst touches. Pace wasn't there. Shooting wasn't there. But all of a sudden, the gameplay has just changed. And Leroy Sane has came out and he's shown me why he's worth the amount that he's worth. That's beautiful. Look at the pace. Look at the acceleration. He literally can't. Guy thinks I'm going to drag back. Oh, just couldn't get the finish. Why Why I continue going forward is because I knew he would stop with David Louise thinking that I would do the drag back, which allowed me obviously to have the wide open shot. But unfortunately, it just couldn't go in. That's beautiful. Can I get a finish? Oh, how has he hit post there? How has he hit post there? Come on. He's through on here. Can I get a turn? Can I get a finesse? I can't score with him. I just can't. I don't know. I did nothing wrong with that. That's what I usually do with every other player. It goes in, especially a left footer. And Sane is just not finishing it. 
That's beautiful dribbling. Amazing. Can I get that across as well? That's very unfortunate. He's dribbling though, I must say, and his pace just comes together to be amazing. Round the corner, use that speed. Jesus Christ, that's beautiful. Oh, I just couldn't get a turn. We're probably going to get a finish. Oh, that didn't count. Okay. I kind of screwed that up. I shouldn't have done that fake shot. Maybe I should have just passed. But look at the amount of pace he used. Sane wide open. Can I go around the keeper? Oh, come on. Just getting bodied by Allison, and I couldn't get around him. That's unfortunate. What a turn. That's an immune... Oh, that's what, that's what I was waiting for, man. That's more like the Leroy Sane I know. The fake shot to get the ankle. And what a finish it is with his right foot. Now, I'm having problems finishing with him a lot. But he's done really, really well there just to power that with his weaker foot. Leroy Sane. Round the corner. Can I get an RBA across? Yes, I can. A beautiful goal. Beautiful assist from Sane. Just using that pace and that fake shot around the corner to give him that acceleration that he needed. So, it is time to review him. And let me say, this card, it's something that I did not expect. Three games played, three goals, three assists. A very nice goal to game ratio. Now, six foot. I personally didn't think it would be a problem with obviously a guy that has a lot, a lot of pace and it looks like he has an amazing shooting and amazing dribbling, but it is. Now, if Sane was around 5'8", five 5'9", foot five foot yes, he would be in the meta. Yes, I would tell you guys instantly to go get this card, but I just can't. I can't tell you guys to just instantly go get this card because this six foot is a big, big problem for him. Now, the three-star weak foot. I did score a goal with that weak foot, but I also missed around two to three chances with that weak foot, which I personally think should go in every single time. So, we have to take that into account when rating him. Four-star skill is very nice. The ball roll feels very, very fast, in him, fast on him. The drag back, amazing on him. Now, acceleration sprint speed. I had the first two, ga first two games, I had very bad gameplay, okay? Now... That's the kind of gameplay that you kind of expect in foot champs, that you get in foot champs, and where you'll be using these players. He was slow. He wasn't even fast, and that's what blew my mind. The fact that he was slow. He couldn't finish like how I would love him to finish. And you just have to think to yourself, 650k for a guy that is 91 overall. He has, it says he has 99 sprint speed, but apparently he can't play a bad gameplay. We all, we all have to take this into account when rating him. Now, I'm going to start from pace and go all the way to physical in that order. Now, acceleration, sprint speed. Fast in, go in good gameplay. My last game was very fast, but slow in bad gameplay. Pfft, don't know how. Finishing, attacking positioning, shot power. Disappointing. He had so many chances. It was ridiculous. And I was struggling left, right, and center. Just the easiest chances I've ever seen a player have. Post at least six times or five times. Just finesse shot just didn't go, with, go in with him. We have to take into account he doesn't have to finesse shot trait or the outside foot shot trait. And I do believe if he had one of those traits, he would be finishing every single one. But he just couldn't. I was having a big problem with him finishing. Short passing, amazing. One, two plays, triangle plays. It was all there. Amazing passer. Long passing, not the greatest. Couldn't over the top of the ball to save his life. Agility. When you're standing still with him and just turning with your left analog stick, amazing. When you're holding RT or like you're just like in a jogging movement and you're trying to turn with him, horrible. And I personally think that's simply because he is six foot. You're not going to get that like momentum kind of thing to yourself. And... That right there was a big, big disappointment I did have with this card. Now, stamina. Lasted throughout the whole game. Amazing. 82 jumping for a six-foot player. Really, really good. He's an outlet. Like, you're going to put him down a wing. He's going to be an outlet if you're if you're going to get cornered in. And he'll win the header over most uh, fullbacks. So, strength and aggression. Strength I was surprised about. Very, very nice strength. Wasn't getting body off the ball a lot. But, uh, yeah, again, aggression. Now, I personally thought it was it wouldn't make that big of a problem, but he was losing 50-50s, which I didn't need him to lose. It was an easy 50-50, and he just lost every single one of those. And this card is a big, big disappointment for me.
because I did really think this card was going to be insane. He was going to be up to Adama Traore standards. That obviously he's got that pace and he's now apparently he has shooting Sane and now he's got the dribbling and now he's got the short passing and now he's got uh, strength. Everything about this card was about to be amazing, but it just wasn't. So I am going to give him a rating 6 out of 10. You guys might be shocked, but that's my experience with him. He Is he worth 650k? No. If you guys can do him for 200k, go ahead. Be my guest. But if I was saying a valuable price for him and how he plays in-game, I would say around 300k. I would earn that. Please don't do this card. But if you guys enjoyed this play review, leave a like, leave a comment, and for now, peace.